Welcome to Lecture Online, and now we're going to take a look at what we call the future value of an annuity. But in this case, we're going to start making payments at the beginning of the period. So we start making a first payment right on day one, instead of waiting till the end of the period. So again, to show you what we mean here, FV stands for future value, PP stands for periodic payment. The reason why we'll call it periodic payment is because we don't know what the period is. It could be weekly, bi-weekly, monthly, semi-annually, doesn't matter. We can adjust by calling the period, whatever the time period has to be. The R stands for interest rate, T stands for time in years, M stands for the number of payments per year. It's kind of like the number of conversions per year. And so let's say in our example that the periodic payment is $200 every two weeks, that the rate is 6%, 10 years, and so M will be 26. There's 26 pay periods per year. And in the previous video, when we made the payment at the end, the total accumulated value was $71,141.17. So let's see what it's going to be this time when we do it at the beginning of the pay period. The equation looks almost identical to what was before, with the differences we have to insert this one term right here. We're going to multiply everything by 1 plus R over M. Let's see what the different number will be this time. So, we have $200 per pay period. There's going to be 26 pay periods per year because it's bi-weekly. So we multiply the times 1 plus the rate, 0 0.06 divided by 26. And we multiply that times. Here would be 1 plus R over M. R would be 0 0.06 divided by M. M would be 26. We raise the whole thing to the 26 times 10 power. We subtract 1 from that, and then we divide the whole thing by 0 0.06 divided by 26. Now remember that in the previous video, this whole thing right here, times 200, gave us this number right there. So really what we do is we multiply that number times this quantity right here to get the new number. But just for practice, let's go ahead and do the whole thing again. So we're going to multiply this times this. We should get this number right there. And then we'll multiply times this quantity because that's the difference between paying at the beginning of the period versus paying at the end of the period. End of the period is typically more common, but sometimes people, know, people open up an annuity and they want to start making the first payment right there, and then the next payments will be coming out of their paycheck. So, what does it look like? So we have 0 0.06 divided by 26. We add that to 1, we have what's inside the parentheses here. We raise that to the 260th power, and we subtract 1 from that. We then divide it by this fraction, so it's the same as multiplying times 26 and dividing by 0 0.06. So times 26 and divide by 0 0.06, and finally we multiply times 200, and we get the following number, the same numbers we do there. So this is equal to 71,000.000. And 17 cents. Now we multiply that times 1 plus 0 0.06 divided by 26 because that's the only difference between the two equations. All right, so we multiply the times, we go 0 0.06 divided by 26 plus 1, close parentheses, equals, and so now the amount becomes $71,305.18. Five cents. So you can see that by starting it right away, instead of waiting for the first two weeks and then making your first payment, you actually earn a little bit more money, and so it's worth a little bit more value. So this is the future value when you make payments at the beginning of each period versus making payments at the end of the period. And that's how we do that.